Hello everyone, this is Steve here from DeerDays.com. I've been doing a lot of searching for uh, bows. Uh, last year I just made a hasty decision and I followed everybody's opinions this year with shooting as many bows as you can and picking the bow that fits the best for you. After shooting 13 bows in the last two weeks, even attending the ATA show, I finally made my decision. My decision was almost swayed because I kind of took uh, to heart a lot of the posts on uh, Archery Talk and different uh, uh, forums uh, and I had to uh, not worry about so many of the bad comments and, and, and pick a bow that was best for me. I ended up going with the Elite Answer. Um, second in line was the Bowtech Invasion. Uh, both awesomely smooth bows. Uh, my shoulder is not the greatest in the world from an old hockey accident so I was looking for a bow that would fit, fit me well. Um, it came down to the Invasion and the Elite Answer. Um, after repeatedly, repeatedly shooting them, um, the Elite Answer came down uh, to the best draw, the best hold. It's an archery bow. Uh, within five minutes, I was shooting the X's out inside their target range. Um, the bow I got is the, hunt, uh, the Answer. Uh, it's a 33.5 ATA, 7-inch brace. It's set at 70 pounds. Um, black riser, camo limbs. Um, absolutely no camline. The finish is absolutely perfect. And I put about 50 shots through so far, and I don't see any string fray. Not saying that that's going to happen. But those are all the top things that people were talking about. Um, shooting it, it's absolutely quiet. Uh, no shock. Um, I love the grip. I changed up my sight a little bit. I went from an Armor Tech HD to a Viper with dovetail. I got the sight out a little bit farther, so it fits into my peep better. Uh, I'm running a stokerized uh, stabilizer uh, and uh, Ultra Rest. Uh, HDX uh, green drop away. I want a little green on this bow. I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see uh, the actual finish and take a look at the bow. Now for a good look at the bow. Camo limbs are flawless. Their finish is excellent. They even have the sides finished. Um, I'm going to try to get you a little glossy view here of the finish actually on the on the riser. There's not a machine mark on it. My father is a machinist. I had him look it over and he said this was high quality. He said whoever did this did a good job. Even the uh, powder coating is beautiful. I've got the stoker eye set up here. String looks good. Went with a little green accent on it. Green peep. Speed knocks. Everything looks really wonderful here. Now to hold the bow up. I got the green HDX. Got the Viper sight. It was just perfect. It got me another inch and it fits perfectly in my uh, 3 16th peep. As far as cams, I don't know if you can see this or not, but cams are absolutely perfect. I'm getting a little bad perspective on this, but there's absolutely zero cam lean. I just want to try to help some people out there that are having a hard time making a decision. This bow is a heck of a shooter. Um, I see this perfect. It's 100% perfect as far as finish, fit, cam lean, strings. Now, he did get this after Christmas in his shop, and uh, I think he might have got some of the ones that were... Uh, they weren't the first run that didn't have any issues. So I'm not sure if this is going to help anybody, but I want to let them know that I've spent three or four weeks even going to the ATA show, and it came down to this bow. For a 33.5 ATA, shooting 330 feet per second, I didn't chrono it today. That's one thing I'm kind of mad at myself about. Um, you can't put a better package together as far as this bow. And, and don't get me wrong, the Invasion was absolutely beautiful. This bow was just the best bow for me. So everybody, make a good choice. Don't believe everything you hear, and uh, go with your gut feeling on this. Everyone have a good day. Thanks.